Hi guys, this is Arkel here, and today I'll be doing things a little bit differently, and instead of some background music, um, I'll be answering some questions that you've given me as you watch me draw. Now, first I want to say that I get tons, tons of questions um, about my original characters and how I design them and name them, etc. And I'll be doing uh, some separate videos all about character designing and all about that stuff because it's such a wide topic and I can't really explain all of its parts so easily. Um, so look forward to videos about designing characters in the future. Um, you guys are so awesome and have given me way more questions, way more questions than I thought I would get. Um, so I'll answer as many questions uh, as possible in this one video and then continue again in another video with the rest. Um, so yeah, let's get started to the questions. So question one, how long have you been drawing? Uh, this is a question I get so often, it's probably the most commonly asked question I get. And what I tell everyone is that I started taking drawing seriously about three years ago when I was uh, about 15, 16 and a sophomore in high school. Um, now of course I had drawn a bit here and there prior to that time but I never took it seriously at all and just doodled on occasion for fun. Um, I never believed that I wanted to actually pursue art and be an artist until about three years ago. Question two, what inspired you to draw and slash what got you into anime? Um, I'm going to combine these two questions because they kind of go hand in hand. Um, so let's see, I got the inspiration to draw anime from the childhood shows that I watched like Pokemon and Digimon, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Cardcaptors were the main influences. Um, so many of the things I liked growing up were Japanese or had an anime uh, art style to it. Um, of course, I didn't intentionally seek these things out, I just sort of gravitated to them naturally. Um, so I can't say exactly what got me into it, uh, I've just always sort of been into it, if that makes sense. Um, because of the time that I grew up, um, anime was at like a really like high peak, and so a lot of things for children were, like they were anime uh, and manga and that kind of style, I just didn't really know it at the time. Um, but truth be told, um, I didn't even really, like I said, I didn't even really know um, what the word anime meant until I was about like 13 or 14. Uh, and around that time in middle school and early high school, I learned a lot more about anime and manga, and I just fell so much in love with it. Like, oh my gosh, I love it. Um, so yeah, the art style um, that was what made me pick up the pencil and to actually draw, um, but really what made me keep doing it was because I just enjoy drawing so much. Um, really art is the only thing that I've ever found uh, in my life that I've tried and have honestly never gotten bored of doing. Uh, I spent my early high school years like a straight F student. Um, because I found life to be like extremely boring and I just kind of didn't have anything that I loved. Um, after I realized that art was the one thing that I never grew bored of, um, you know, suddenly it was like my life mattered. Um, it was like I had spent my life up to that point asleep and it feels like now I'm awake, um, if that analogy makes any sense. Um, so yeah, anime and manga inspired me to start drawing, um, but the happiness that I found in art um, that I never really found anywhere else is why I keep and will never stop drawing. Question three, how do you get inspiration? <laughs> well, like I said, um, a very large part of the reason why I draw is because it gives my life a sort of direction and a purpose that I never really had before. Um, so that alone is enough to keep me drawing like all the time. Um, I don't ever really want to become bored with life again, uh, so I constantly try to challenge myself and to use different mediums and draw tons of different things, so I never really uh, get bored. Um, but really, uh, I just never really run out of inspiration. Um, I don't know, I just see life in colors that I couldn't before, and they're all just so beautiful and so inspiring. Um, everything I see or experience is inspiration to me. I just don't really ever have to look for it. It's, it's all around. Um, and of course, uh, I am definitely inspired to draw and become more skilled because of my own characters and stories that I have. Uh, they give my art a direction that I can focus on, so as long as I have a story to tell, I guess I'll never really be at a loss for inspiration. 
um, having a direction uh, for your art is very important, I believe. And making a story of your own, even if it's only for yourself, even if it's just something personal that you're doing, uh, can really help bring inspiration to your art. Question four, are you a self-taught artist? Yes, uh, no one taught me how to draw in the style I do. Um, I learned the basics of anime through research and from some, some tutorials and tips from other artists, um, but I was not formally taught how to draw in my own style or in any anime style. Uh, ultimately, I took what I learned and made my own style, um, as every artist should do. Uh, I have taken a few art classes when I was little, but this was in like elementary school, and I was never really taught how to draw anime, of course. Um, now I'm in college, so I'm learning formally, but I am still not being taught how to draw anime by any means. Um, ultimately, um, all that I know about drawing and drawing anime has been through research, practice, and experimentation. So I kind of do count myself as a self-taught artist. Question 5. What are you majoring in? Um, well, I'm majoring in game art and design. Um, ideally, I would really love to be either a concept artist or a story writer for video games. Uh, of course, you know, my dream is to create my own manga and or webcomic someday as well, um, but video games have been a huge source of happiness for me in my life, um, so I want to give some of that happiness back to others if I can. Question 6. How long does it take you to finish a fully colored picture? Uh, you mean like a full-scale, really detailed picture? Ugh, it depends really, but usually very slowly. Um, I work on many things at a time, so devoting my like undivided attention to one piece of art is really hard, especially when it's very complex. It just becomes very hard for me to focus on it for a long period of time. Um, I'd say from start to finish, most of my really detailed and full-scale art pieces can take me anywhere from about 8 to 30 hours over anywhere from a week to a month, depending on how busy I am and how many other things I'm working on at that moment. Question 7. Do you use references when drawing? Yes, sometimes I will use real-life references for things that I'm unsure how to draw so they look more realistically accurate but this is only in specific instances and I don't do it as much as I probably should. Um, do I use references in the context that I see a drawing somewhere else and I copy it? No, absolutely not. When it comes to drawing, ultimately everything I draw is freehand and from scratch. Uh, of course, if I have a character that I'm drawing, sure, I'll use a reference for them so I draw them correctly, but that doesn't mean I'm copying the posing or the style or anything from that reference. I'm only using it so I draw their details right, so I don't end up drawing their hair looking completely not like it's supposed to. <laughs> um, remember that if you're using someone else's art as a reference for your own drawing, meaning that you're using their artwork as a base for your own, um, that's copying, and of course copying will get you absolutely nowhere. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this first session of question and answers. Um, I really love answering questions and I love helping people as best I can. Um, so if you have a question for me, uh, please feel free to ask me and I may put it in a video like this in the future. Um, just put a comment on whatever. I might answer it directly or I might just, you know, answer it directly and then put it in a video or just put it in a video. Who knows what I feel like at the time. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!